Hello everyone again, this is King Opa, Lord of the Thrift, joining you. Welcome back. Um, I think in one of my previous uh, videos I talked a little bit about sort of the things that I look for when I'm going to thrift stores. And one of the things I mentioned is that, uh, of course, thrift stores always have lots of books. So I'm always looking for the type of books that uh, I might be able to purchase and resell. And um, what I found over the years is that the old Nancy Drew mystery stories are very, very popular. And I've had pretty good success with them uh, over the years. Um, these books that you see in the video are some ones I picked up recently. Um, I didn't do as well as I thought I would do in these books. I bought about oh, a dozen and a half or so. Made a few dollars on them, but not too much. I think I probably paid a little bit too much for them. I think I paid about a dollar a piece. Ideally, uh, I'd like to pay about, oh, say about 50 cents a piece for these books. Sometimes I've been able to get them for a quarter, depending on where you buy them. I noticed particularly in uh, garage sales, uh, a lot of times, uh, because they're kind of considered children's books or kids, young teen books, that they seem to do a little bit better. These books uh, here that you're looking at um, are uh, probably somewhere between 1962 and the late 1970s. Uh, you can tell that based on the fact that they don't have a dust cover. These books are actually have what's called a picture cover. Um, a lot of you may be familiar with these if you read Nancy Drew books or as I did when I was a kid I read Hardy Boys and Hardy Boy books also um, are pretty collectible. There's uh, lots of people that like to collect these books. Again these picture cover books do pretty well. They're um, published by Grosset and Dunlap um, and I think in the original canon of Nancy Drew books, there's about 56 books, uh, stories. Um, about the same for the Hardy Boys. I don't remember the exact number on the Hardy Boys. But uh, the early books are the ones that actually can be quite valuable. If you can find the first edition of the first uh, Nancy Drew story, which was called The Secret of the Old Clock, if that has the dust cover, you could be literally looking at thousands of dollars for that book. I've had the fortune of purchasing a few of the earlier books I found over uh, the times I've been out looking around. I've uh, never made a thousand, thousands of dollars on the books, but in some cases I purchased a Nancy Drew uh, early edition book for a dollar or two and have made fifty, seventy-five dollars, something like that. As I said, these are the picture covers they also, um, the series of books before the picture covers came out actually had dust jackets with them. If you can find Nancy Drew books or even Hardy Boy books with the dust jackets, um, particularly if the dust jackets are in any kind of good condition, those can be pretty valuable. I remember one time I picked up well, probably a dozen or so older Nancy Drew books with the dust covers probably paid about five dollars and I think I sold them for about fifty so um, uh, as I said these are um, these are pretty collectible depending on condition depending on what years you've gotten uh, also depending if it's a first edition one of the ways you can tell that is is um, um, looking at the back of the book you'll see the list of all the titles of the different stories so if you happen to see that the book you're holding, in this case, The Moonstone Castle Mystery, if this was the last book listed under here, that would indicate that this was probably the first edition of that book. Um, on this particular one, uh, The Moonstone Mystery, I think, is about, oh, about fifth or sixth to the bottom of this list, which means it's not a first edition book. Um, so not quite as valuable as the, as the first editions. Like I said, I probably paid maybe a little bit too much for these. I, I got them because I hadn't bought these for a while, hadn't seen them for a while, and uh, they were in generally pretty good condition. But markets vary. Sometimes uh, things get hot, sometimes not so hot. Um, but generally speaking, I've done pretty well with these. I think that's about all I have for t tonight. Um, uh, appreciate everybody checking in. 
This is King Opa, Lord of the Thrift. Remember to uh, stay safe, to uh, keep things in balance, and to enjoy the simple things of life. This is King Opa, Lord of the Thrift, signing off. Bye-bye.